the ground starts shaking in many different ways. The houses that are not sturdy enough make collapse, causing great losses. I am Architect Kiki. Do you know how to build houses at different locations? This is a seismic hazard map. The colors and numbers marked on the map indicates different levels of earthquake resistance required in house building. Wherever it is, houses should be sturdy. Can you place the buildings at the matching zones of seismic fortification intensity? That's not correct. Level 9 fortification zone. Level 8 fortification zone. Level 7 fortification zone. Level 6 fortification zone. Now let's build the sturdy houses to stay safe even when earthquake strikes. Hospital building. The old building is in danger of collapsing. Let's dismantle it first. cement onto the steel reinforcement cage to make sturdy pile foundation. the seismic isolation bearings. Make sure all the screws are tightened. The foundation is built! These soft and flexible rubber seismic isolation bearings work to isolate the house from the ground. 
when an earthquake strikes, the isolation bearings deform to isolate the house from the shaking of the ground and keep the house much safer. Select a hospital building. Wow, the hospital is built! Oh, we also need to build a helipad! With the helipad, helicopters will be able to send patients to the hospital faster! Earthquake-resistant buildings and normal buildings will act differently in an earthquake. Slide the button to check it out. Small earthquake. Stay intact in a small earthquake. Medium earthquake. Repairable damages in medium earthquake. Big earthquake. Won't collapse in a big earthquake. Great job! Wow! The earthquake-resistant building you built is so sturdy! Amazing! Keep going!